All right, hello class. Uh, what we're gonna take a look at now is uh, we're gonna actually look at how to take this project that this is your finalized project thus far, how to save it, and then how to uh, export it into your Google Drive in case uh, you need to re-edit or uh, work with it through there. So I'm in my full view, I have all my angles measured, I colored that, I color coded them, I'm ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up to the right hand corner, uh, the three hot dog lines or the Oreo cookie, the double stuffed Oreo cookie that you want to talk about, whatever you want to call it. Same thing as Chrome. Uh, this is what I'm going to click. And if I just want to save it in here, the first thing I'm going to do is hit file and then save. And now I'm going to title this uh, my parallel lines project. And then obviously, and at the end, I want you also to put your last name on there. Okay. So last name, obviously mine's Honig. Uh, if you have a brother or sister in the same grade, uh, what I suggest you do is put your first initial and then your last name. And then you can save it. You can make it private to yourself. That's probably the best one. It's the easiest one and just save it. Now it'll always save it in GeoGebra. So first we saved it. It'll tell me that I successfully saved my project. And then I'm gonna click the three or the double Oreo cookie here again. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down to the bottom one in file and scroll down to export. You see what pops up? This is my Google Drive and down here it's telling me I want my Parallel Lines project. That's the same name that I just gave it. And I'm going to save it in my Google Drive. Okay, so this is where I want it going. It's going into my Google Drive. I don't want it in my downloads. So if you're in downloads, click off it and double click on your actual drive. You can place it anywhere you want in your drive. If you have a math folder, that's fine. Uh, I'm just going to put it in my Google Drive. And then I get to save it. And once I save it, it's going to download all the way right here, as in Chrome. So it's pretty simple. And then I can go back into my drive. I'll refresh it. And anytime I need to uh, search, I can either go to my recent documents and refresh. And if you see, if you saw the Parallel Lines project came up, so this is the one that I actually worked with, or I could just search it in here. I could search my drive as Parallel Lines project. And that's the one that comes up. And if you did it correctly, it will come up as a GGB file. That means it's a GeoGebra file. So I can just click it and this page will pop back up. It'll ask me for permission. So anytime you could do this at home if you really wanted to, uh, it'll always ask you to sign in with Chrome. I want to sync it, so I just have to hit accept and it'll bring back the project that I was working on. And there's my project. So hopefully that was uh, quick and easy to save and then export it into your Google Drive. Once you have it in your drive, you can edit this at any time and follow the same process. You save and then export it again to your Google Drive and that way it'll stay fresh for you.